Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. A cyber attack will hack into your computer and destroy all your data. I will help you with those bags. When this lesson is over, I'll go to the gym to work out. The new president of the United States will definitely create new jobs. This summer, he's going to visit his aunt in Morocco. Look, the swallows are back. It's going to be spring soon. Her boss is having a meeting with the employees in the afternoon. Our train leaves at 2 p.m. In this lesson, we're going to look at the future. So stay tuned. So why is it that students find the future difficult in English? Well, for one thing, there are four futures. So the future simple will go into present continuous or present progressive and the present simple or simple present. For another is that any reference you make about a future action is usually or generally an indication of what you think might occur or what you plan to happen. Now, this sounds a little bit confusing. I'm going to try to show it, um, show it to you, this explanation, by introducing two timelines, okay? One which is represents going to, and the other one represents will. So, in the first one with going to, there is a cross in the past with a cross in the future. This indicates a planned action. So, going to is, we use going to for an action that I thought about it in the past for a future, for a future action. In the meantime, we have will, and in this case, we have the cross of now and the timeline, and then a cross in the future. This will indicate a spontaneous action. Let's take a look at the examples and the rules. Okay, I said that we're going to talk about going to will, present continuous or progressive, and the present simple. If you wish to uh, look at other futures, like future perfect, you may click here. Now, will is not always used for future actions. Yes, it can be used also for the present. For example, general truths. And that was my first example. A cyber attack will hack into your computer and destroy all your data. So this is a general truth and is a present action. It doesn't have anything to do with the future. I'm going to dedicate this part of um, the explanation of will in another lesson. So let's take a look at the second one and the most important one that I already mentioned is for spontaneous actions. So let's see, I have a lady in front of me and I see she's carrying a heavy bag. So I say to her, I'll, I will, I'll help you with those bags. Spontaneous action for the future. Or the phone rings and I say, okay, I'll answer it. Okay, this is for a spontaneous actions. Now let's take a look at the third uh, rule. We use will for the first conditional. When this lesson is over, I'll go to the gym. Now, if you want to review the first conditional or the conditionals, you may click here. For predictions based on opinions. So, is my opinion about a future event or something that will happen is a prediction. For example, the new president of the United States will definitely create new jobs. This is my prediction, is my opinion. Or I think, I think he'll beat me at our next tennis match. So this is my opinion. So that's why I say, I think I'll do something. Remember that will usually is a contracted with apostrophe double L and we pronounce I'll, he'll. 
For example, for a negative, will plus not is won't. Okay, I won't do it. If you're saying something to your friends and your friend tells you, okay, do this, do that. I won't do it. Now, let's take a look at going to. Going to, I said that is planned. This summer, he's going to visit his aunt in Morocco. In this case, obviously, he had planned it before telling you this, right? So, he's going to visit his aunt in Morocco. I'm going to visit my friend in Spain, for example, this summer. This is what I had thought about before telling you. So, it's an action that I thought in the past for the future. Let's take a look at the second uh, rule. Predictions that you can actually see. Look, the swallows are back. The swallows, the birds. Is going to be spring soon. Okay, you know that when you see this type of birds, spring is coming. Or another example, the sun has just set. It's going to get dark soon. It's going to get dark soon. Obviously, because you can see it. So it's a prediction based on something that you can actually see. So this is about going to. What about the present continuous or present progressive? Some people ask me if we can um, use the present continuous. And the answer is yes, there is, however, a little difference. And the little difference is that we use the present continuous or the present progressive for fixed arrangements. So, for example, the boss is having a meeting in the afternoon, I said, I think. Is having. I could have said the boss is going to have a meeting in the afternoon. Is the same. I can say that is the same. We use the present continuous for the future a lot. Now, the present simple instead, we use it for timetables. So, for a train uh, timetable or a plane timetable. So, the train leaves at 2 p.m. So, this is future, but the present simple is used here to indicate the future, for example. So, the train leaves at 2 p.m. Now, let's recap. In this lesson, we looked at the future. Future simple will, going to, present continuous, progressive, and present simple or simple present. It is important you remember the difference between a planned action using going to and the uh, spontaneous action using will. I suggest you watch the lesson once more so that you have a better idea and a clearer idea about the future. The future can be tricky in English, so that's why I suggest to watch the lesson once, twice, three times more. That's it for today. If you want to post your own example, you may type it under this video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. You'll get a new lesson next week. Please, if you like the lesson, Share it. It's really important for me. Have a great day and I see you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.